Sleeping Beauty. A long time ago, in a kingdom far away, a baby princess was born. The king and queen were overjoyed and invited all the fairies in the kingdom to their baby's christening ceremony. All the fairies arrived and after the ceremony, they all bestowed upon her, gifts of their choice. They blessed her with beauty, goodness, charm, cleverness, grace and happiness. But for the seventh and the last fairy could give the baby princess her present, the doors of the hall banged open and there stood the evil fairy. She was very angry that she had not been invited for the princess's christening. She stood at the doorway and looked around the hall with her evil eyes shining maliciously. She approached the cot in which the baby lay and pointed her wand at the little princess. The evil witch said that the princess would prick her finger on a spindle and die when she was 16 years old. With that curse, the evil witch went away leaving the queen weeping and the king very distressed. The king and queen were helpless but the seventh fairy came forward and announced that she would perform her magic to ensure that the princess will not die, but that she will fall asleep for a hundred years. She said that the princess will be awoken by a kiss from a handsome prince. The king ordered all the spindles in the country to be burnt down, and no one was supposed to possess a spindle. Time went by, and the little princess grew up into a charming young girl, pretty, clever and graceful just as the fairies had promised. Sixteen years passed away and the princess was strolling around the castle garden, when she looked up and saw a window opened right at the top of one of the towers. The princess wondered who lived there and began climbing up the stairs to reach the tower. When she reached it, a door stood open into a tiny room. There was a little old woman, seated at a spindle. This old woman had lived in this deserted tower for a long time and she had not heard of the order the king had given. The princess wanted to try her hand at the spindle and the kind old woman allowed her. As the princess stretched out her hand to touch the spindle, the sharp point pricked her finger and the princess fell on the floor fast asleep. When the king had heard what had happened, he sadly took her and laid her on a velvet bed. The fairy appeared and with her magic wand put the whole castle to sleep. Even the dogs, the cats and the mice fell into a hundred years of sleep. She then waved her wane for the last time and a thick forest sprang into life around the castle. After some time, people forgot about the castle and the princess. A hundred years went by. One day, a handsome young prince was hunting nearby. He suddenly saw the forlorn castle and wondered who was living there. Suddenly, the fairy appeared and told him about the spell and the sleeping princess. The prince immediately fought his way through the forest and entered the castle. He searched everywhere and at last found the princess. He kissed her hand gently and the princess woke up. The whole castle woke up at the same time. There were cries of joy and tears of happiness everywhere. The prince and princess got married to each other, and they lived happily ever after. The End Thank you, for listening to the stories at zenkids.com.